welcome a lot of signs i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the full moon reading the super full moon reading for the month of march Alrighty, let's see what is coming up remember we first look at uh, um the moon sign and then the sun sign all right this is a super moon super moon in virgo so be aware of that um that's kind of good for you um water sign people because virgo is ruled um by mercury and and that is uh, really wonderful because uh, creative people are going to be having a really wonderful time so let's call in archangel annual all the moon goddesses masters uh, to come in and show the water sign people the energy this is for the pisces um cancer and scorpion so however this is coming up in your life this is for um you water sign people i want to say thank you so much for being a member of my channels for all who are members remember that all reading as extended and with the extended version you get info more information that can help you okay so I want to say to each and every person, however it is happening and transpiring, thank you for um, all the support. And please remember, for the extended reading, use the link here to join so you can get the extended reading. And here, use um, the this button uh, to subscribe and this button right here um, to notify. So set the buttons on. Okay, so... Water sign, we're going to be um, going in. We're looking at the sun sign people first and then the moon people. What are you guys coming in? Seven of Cups. A lot of opportunities, a lot of doors and opportunities are going to be opening for you. So this is a happy card. This is one of the uh, most finest cards. It hasn't, uh, it is like I'm in, feeling it. I have, there's opportunities, there's doors, there's things. Uh, um that i can um find in my life i'm feeling good i'm feeling positive because uh, um there are opportunities that is coming up and this is good okay so that's a wonderful energy now i see some of you are trying to find inner strength a lot of work is going on um i see around you guys and uh, whether you're working whether you're someone at home a, a lot of work is going on between you guys so you got to be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring then i see the eight of cups so there um um the the first you have uh, positive emotions a lot of opportunities i see you're choosing a path and moving forward and this is really wonderful and really good so um in spite of everything you're pushing forward i see a new start is coming up for you a water sign people whatever is happening and transpiring a new start is going to be coming up for you water sign and this is going to be good however way it is affecting your life um this is uh, um going to be positive i see the truth is going to be coming out about whatever the issue and the situation that was taking place in your life the truth is going to be coming out I see people are seeing the truth about some issues and some situation that has transpired in your life. Um, I see the truth about an Aquarian Gemini, um, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra woman, whoever this person is. I see um, that um, people are finding out what this lady has done. Now, how is this lady connected to you? Is this a mother? Is this uh, a sister? Is this your partner? Or is this uh, um, someone that has done some injustice? It could be um, a lawyer that was not very honest. Okay, so um, the this whatever the issue and the situation is, is that you had to stand your grounds. You have to stand your grounds against someone who have uh, done you some wrong, and it is an air sign person. Okay. Then I see this energy of uh, you, some of you dealing with a young fire sign person, whoever this person is and whatever is transpired. I see you're dealing with a young fire sign person. I see you have turned your back to this person and move off and you have cut this person off. I see a new start is coming up for a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, whoever this person is and whatever has transpired. 
I see that a new start is going to be coming up for this person. Now, this situation is coming up as kids. However, this is transpire. I see. I see the burdens is going to be over because people are finding out exactly what has happened and transpire. And your burdens is going to be over because whatever uh, the deceptiveness that has played, I see um, where you are um, bringing a an, an situation to an end because the truth came out over what has transpired. So I see transformation. Transformation is coming up for you. Um, sun sign people a huge transformation is coming up because I see um, they they found out whatever that was affecting you and affecting your life and how um, this could um, it, it's, it's as if some of you were carrying some burdens some of you were really carrying some burdens and however um, these burdens was coming up it was uh, as if uh, people had created these situations in your life okay and this situation had affected you in so many ways uh, so be aware now this reading is from the ninth um the beginning of the full moon in virgo it is from the ninth until um it's from the night until um four weeks later okay so there's emotion a lot of you are dealing with kids whatever is transpiring a lot of you are dealing with kids and however the situation that is coming up with kids i see a lot of you dealing with issues with kids i see a transformation is going to be coming in because i see um that the truth is going to be coming out and i see um you are buying and balancing off I see you have strong foundation, whatever is transpiring. I see a lot of your opportunities with business and work is going to be coming out, okay? Mm. And um, all these new opportunities that is coming out with business and work, um, it's going to be helping you and creating a lot of financial stability in your world. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So... Um, if you were looking for new business, new opportunities, um, new love, the, the prospect and the possibility is here. Okay, so if you were looking for a new business, new love, uh, the prospect and possibilities are here. And you are on the right part. So whatever you decide to do as of the 9th of March, you're on the right part. I want to say happy birthday to all the people that is... Uh, um, um, here in March um, that is having birthday so I see wonderful um, situation I see a lot of you who already have business could be having some legal issues however that is coming up I see um, happiness and joy in the house I see the family is okay I see there was someone that was harassing you and your family I see this is okay because they found out what this person has done so this is wonderful because this is um, a really positive time that uh, um, you guys are um, dealing with family issues and it is a very, very positive time, okay? So whoever was married or getting divorced from an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, I see this person is in the reverse. This person is going to try and take everything from you. So be aware of uh, what this person is doing, okay? So if you were married to um, an Aries Lee or Sagittarius person, this person is going to be really working against you. So you got to be aware of what is transpiring. Then we have deceptiveness. So um, whatever the issue and the situation was, I see that some of you have um, realized some deceptive situation or um you know lies or deceptiveness that has happened and has transpired and i see that the truth is now coming out and um whatever it is i see the truth is coming out and uh, i see you're going to be offered something because they realize uh, that a company institution it could be situation with the kids uh, that the kids were um were not um 
properly or it could be you also were properly treated in a good um, form and I see that this um, situation is that whatever is happening and transpiring I definitely definitely see that you're going to be receiving an offer you're definitely going to be receiving an offer from a company an institution um, a sorry for a situation that has transpired now I see the night this is the energy of a fire sign person and whatever has transpired I see this fire sign a young fire sign person this could be your child is having some legal issues this fire sign person is having a whole lot of legal issues because of some deceptiveness that this fire sign person has done so I see um, a justice comes in or it could be that is um, a boss on um, the work floor that realized that a fire a young fire sign person has a uh, um, done some real deceptiveness and I see an apology is going to be coming to some of you I see the ace of love I see new love coming in some of you if you're pregnant your child might come in the second week or a third week okay um, I see some of you are going to be finding out that you're pregnant and this is what you've always wanted um, some of you have given up um, on um, getting pregnant and you're going to be finding out that you're in expecting you're expecting a child okay I see a new start is coming in after you have given up um, because of a deceptiveness that someone had done to you you have like I give up on this okay um, and all of a sudden a miraculous shift and a miraculous change came up um, again I see justice comes up a lot of you are dealing with fire sign people whoever these fire sign people are and whatever is transpiring whoever these fire sign people are and whatever is transpiring I see justice come up on these fire sign people okay because I see some deceptiveness that was at play and justice came up on this fire sign person now whoever this fire sign person is is between the ages of 18 and uh, uh, let's say 45 whatever they have done justice is uh, behind them justice came up on them I see an investigation some of them it could be your child that got caught up in some legal action if this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay and uh, I see justice comes up now I see the energy of uh, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this person is uh, um, I see definitely that some of you are going to be having an effect um, this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this person is I see some of you are going to be having a new start over this person um, some of you this person has caused some very destructive situation in your life now it's not showing up who this person is but I see that this person along with a younger person justice came up on them because they found out what these um, people have done wonderful news is coming in um, for you water sign people I see a new start with your financial stability so this is a really positive energy that is coming in for you moon sign um, people because I see the energy of nine of Pentacles a new start with your financial stability is going to be coming in I see that some of you businessmen that was in business and um, a fire sign person had um, some money for you I see that this money is going to be paid out news is coming in that this money is going to be paid out okay so whoever that was um, dealing because I see that some of you uh, and I'm receiving a message that some of you maybe a child um, or a, a family member that is a, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I see that the night of ones have to pay this person a lot of money um, because of the lies and deceptiveness uh, um, that this person have created I see justice comes up and is saying you gotta pay this lady or you gotta pay this man um, and it's a young person so I see that some of you if your child father is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius I see 
um, you're going to be receiving news from this person because justice comes up that this person have to pay. I see you stand your ground with an issue and a situation and I see the truth is coming out. You stood your ground with an issue and it has to do with some money and some lies and deceptiveness. Um, however, this is transpired, whether you're a business person, whether you're working on the work floor, whether you're at home, whether you're uh, pensioned, whatever has happened and has transpired, I see um, you're standing your ground and it has to do with uh, it's standing your ground and, and, and showing up um, a deceptive play that has transpired. You're standing your ground and showing up a deceptive play that was transpired with the family or around your family because this is a situation that you're protecting your family but yet still standing your grounds against someone. So I see you're definitely protecting your family and standing your grounds and showing up people I see a new start I see the end of burden so number 10 the double whammy is 7 and 10 for you people and 1 1 7 and 10 use this energy vibration 1 7 and 10 use this energy vibration because you water sign people are going to be balanced out in this full moon this is a beautiful Virgo full moon for you because it's the opposite sign Virgo and I see that you were right about a deceptiveness that has transpired. And I see a new start is going to be coming in. Money is definitely going to be coming in. That is going to be giving you a lead way um, towards um, the, um, the right way forward. Number 10, you're coming at the end of this full moon period where your burdens is going to be released. So whatever that was happening and transpired, I see you're coming to the end of this full moon period where your burdens are all going to be released and this is going to be good. So we have a situation that some of you business people were carrying a lot of burdens with your business um, where the money that you were waiting on didn't come in, but the money is going to be coming in as you go to the end of this four weeks period. So from um, the 9th um, of March, the full moon, right back to four weeks after that, I see your burdens is uh, um, going to be um, coming um, down, especially for the business people. Some of you at work, I see your burdens is going to be released. Whatever the issue and the situation is, I see news is coming in. I see justice comes up against whoever these young fire sign person, but they're coming up as if they were your child, okay? Wow, water sign, full moon. You're ending this full moon period with a 10 of cups. Happiness and joy in the family. There is a positive transition. Um, you uh, came in this full moon with a seven of cups. This is positive emotion. You're leaving the full moon with also extremely positive emotion, especially when it comes up for the family. So whatever issues and whatever situation that was affecting the family, I see that this is um, going to be over. Um, I see wonderful positive alignment of energy that is coming in. It's definitely going to be over. It's going to be wonderful. Um, new start is going to be coming up with your financial um, stability. Okay. So this is wonderful. It's powerful. It's giving you a lot of energy. So I see some deceptiveness that has transpired with a house, but I see you're going to be having a new offer. I see there was a man that, or there was a fire sign person that they are going to be caught um, because they have done something deceptive. Then I see um, an offer, a new offer is going to be coming in. I see some sadness. I see justice is coming up on your partner. If your partner is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, justice is coming up on this person. This person has to pay you a lot of money because this person has used your information to create lies and deceptiveness. Um, you business people, this man, because he's the center. So I see what has transpired is that this man has to pay you a lot of money um, because this man has uh, um, stolen a lot. 
number 10 is a very strong number for you one and ten is a very strong number for you because whatever that is happening and transpiring i see you're standing your ground showing up whatever that was happening and transpiring and i see a wonderful ending of you coming out whether you're a business person whether you um on the work floor or that sort of a thing but you are going to be coming out on top i see happiness and joy in the family this is beautiful um so be aware of this that positive energy is going to be coming up for you what a sign remember this is just a general reading if you want a reading a personalized reading especially when it comes up to the full moon reading or the astro clock reading i um please place an order okay um this is good especially for business people i think i'm just going to do the astro clock for um the business people because um this is um a wonderful alignment of energies so, all righty sun sign it looks good let's see what is going to be coming out for the moon sign water sign people what is going to be coming out for the moon sign water sign people let's see um what is that transpiring so water sign i see um uh, moon sign people i see the page of cups in reverse okay let's see what is going to be happening then i see the five of pentacles some hardship that you uh, moon sign was dealing with but i see you're going to be celebrating in the second week coming out of this hardship so this is wonderful and this is good so whenever you pick up this reading that's when um you're going to be uh, moving in the alignment of energies okay so you were um dealing with some hardship but i see you're coming out of this hardship i see whatever um that was going on communication is going to be the key okay i see you're celebrating coming out of this and i see that you have communicated very well and very careful and that is what is going to be helping you in the third week okay so we have the energy of the queen of cups but she's in reverse so she's going to be bringing in some money okay she's in a reverse the money is going to be coming in um so this is wonderful and good so um whatever is happening and transpiring i see that maybe a supervisor is going to be helping you um helping you to heal a situation okay and if you're in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, I see this person is going to bring in a lot of money. I see that you, water sign, have all that it takes to, to get you out of a deceptive or a hardship. It's more coming up as a hardship. I see you, water sign, have uh, all that it takes to get you out of uh, this hardship that you were in. And I see you're going to be using it. I see um, you, young water sign people, are going to be celebrating coming out of a hardship. That you were in I see you have all the tools in your hands uh, to make this change and you are going to be making this change I see you need to protect yourself protect yourself against some lies and deceptiveness or protect yourself by communicating clearly and saying to people you need to back down and back away um, whatever is transpiring um, you gotta protect your internet your phones and that sort of a thing I see an offer is coming in and an offer could be coming in from for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman okay so I see a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman could be offering you something and saying um, yeah definitely she's gonna offer you either money or a way to make some money either money or a way to make some money I see a whole lot of conflicts a whole lot of conflicts but we are going to be seeing where this conflict is coming from so you're ending this full moon with a whole lot of conflicts but we're going to be going deeper in order to see where all of this conflicts is um coming from okay so 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 what and um whatever is transpiring i see um the love um knight of pentacles um i see um kids situation that you have to be dealing with kids okay i see a tower moment coming down a tower moment is definitely definitely coming down 
So whoever is in our chip, who um you gotta protect yourself. The nine of wands. So, Protect yourself from an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person. Whoever this person is, you need to protect yourself. It fell out uh, on this person. So some of you, you got to protect yourself from a deceptive lawyer, that a, a deceptive Sagittarian lawyer. So however that is um, transpiring, I see that some of you have to protect yourself from a deceptive Sagittarian lawyer. Okay, so be aware of that. Yeah, a deceptive Sagittar. You got to protect yourself. There is some deceptiveness. So I see some of you are turning your backs and moving forward. Whatever that was happening in Transpire, see you turning your backs and moving forward. Whatever the lies and deceptiveness was and is, you're turning your backs and you're moving forward. Now, I see that this situation is that you're leaving some hardship behind you. You're definitely leaving some hardship behind you. You're going to be victorious and successfully moving away from a situation. Now, if you want to buy a car, you can buy a car. Whatever is transpiring, if you want to buy a car, you can definitely buy a car. It is um, um, the time where you're going to be receiving the opportunities, um, whatever is coming up. There's a lot of emotions, emotions with your kids, emotion with your partners. There's a lot of emotions that is going on, but I see you are going to be coming out of this situation. So whatever the issue and the situation is, there is just some really emotional situation that is transpiring and coming up. I see some good news is going to be coming in. Some of you are moving away from maybe a company or a situation that no longer serves you. You're going to be receiving some good news coming in because you are victoriously successfully overcoming some deceptive play um, that was made. Some deceptive play that was made. I see you receive some good news about work. You're victorious and successful. Some of you, someone has left, so you felt much better in order to carry out your work. But I see a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of success that is coming up. And I see you're going to be a very a, a huge success at work. So that is um, really wonderful and really positive. I see happiness and joy. I see some of you who were looking for a new job. This new job is coming in. Now, young people between the ages of 18 and 45, you got to be aware, be aware of uh, whatever deceptiveness that is around you. It has to do with an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra person, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, you got to be aware of this person. I see money is going to be coming in. Some of you are going to be balancing out your financial stability. Money is going to be coming in. However, um, this is um, coming up. Money is definitely is going to be coming in. Your financial stability is going to be good. I see a news is coming in. Some communication is going to be coming in. The communications could be coming in from work. However, this is plain and this is coming out. I see some communication is coming from work. I see this information that is coming in is very positive. Um, it's extremely very positive. So um, be open because some positive information is going to be coming in when it comes to do with work. Okay. Now you gotta be protecting um, your internet and your uh, telephone. There is someone on it, but I see you're going to be successful. Listen, um, um, you moon sign people, Whoever and whatever that was trying to ruin your life or ruin something, you're going to be very, very successful. I see um, if you want to buy a house, you're trying to find an, a house. I see this house is um, going to be offered to you. Um, this is really positive, but I'm not trusting a situation with the energy of the devil and some deceptive situation that is at play. I see some of you are going to be really connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I see you both are celebrating. If you're in a relationship with this person, I see this is going to be a huge celebration. 
this person could be your mother or this uh, no this is coming up as friends so if you have friends that is Taurus Virgo or Capricorn I see happiness joy celebration you're really really um, connecting on a very very positive level okay number six is good because six is uh, good news is going to be coming in for you guys especially for the young people and the people who were in some hardship the people who wanted to have a new car people who were having problems with their vehicle um to move forward people who wanted to get out of some hardship i see heartbreaks heartbreaks comes up for some of you um heartbreaks with an offer um heartbreaks where an offer that was offered to you um but you're going to be um celebrating over this so let's say that um someone had offer you something and then all of a sudden um it was taken back but i see you're still protecting yourself so number nine um is here twice so you guys have three six and nine three six and nine now i see you're protecting yourself from a conflict whatever this conflict is that has to do with um um whatever this conflict is that has to do with um a taurus virgo or a capricorn person it's as if you were in a relationship with this person um this person is having some conflicts with their family but i see a successful situation is coming out it's as if you are in a relationship with this person it could be a mother also but it's coming up as a friendship this is not the energy of a mother it's coming up as a friendship i see some good news is coming in financial stability for you guys is going to be good i'm afraid for the people between the age of 18 and 35 because there is some deceptive play here so whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring so um um however this is playing out however um this is playing out there is really some deceptiveness uh, um that is happening and is transpiring and we can see this but i see you guys are really protecting yourself you're protecting yourself from whatever deceptiveness that is coming in i gotta look at something because i see the tower moment so i see you receive an offer so i see some really lies and deceptiveness you receive an offer there is some real lies and deceptiveness that is going on here because you have received an offer okay uh and news of pen um, um this is the nine of swords um the three um you're you're worried because um there was some um some deceptive uh, some loss you were worried of some loss but now you're going to be receiving a message um that uh, the lost like some of you who have a business um uh, maybe an invoice or a loss of goods a loss of uh, the client didn't pay uh you were waiting for this um there was no um payment from this client and then all of a sudden you were worried that you have lost everything and then all of a sudden you're getting news that it's going to be okay all right yeah um some regrets for some of you but some of you are going to be okay there is just some deceptiveness here at play that is, is transpiring so whatever the issue and the situation is there is some real deceptiveness at play that is transpiring so you got to be on top of your game it doesn't really matter what is transpiring you got to be on top of your game so let's see what is happening whoever that was having some hardship to move forward you're going to be getting this real um, push forward in a very wonderful way some of you have walked away turn your back from a situation and you're opening up new doors of opportunities for yourself and that is good when we look at um situation i see especially at work you guys are doing people who are working and have their own business you're doing very well i see good news is going to be coming in about some money okay then i see lies and deceptiveness what is transpiring however this is happening and transpiring i see some lies and deceptiveness just young people whatever the hardship you were in you're going to get out of it because you're going to be receiving some news now the center is that for you water sign financial stability is going to be the name of the game 
some good news is going to be coming in about work and this is really wonderful and transpiring because what is happening and what is transpiring whatever the issues and the situation is is going to be um, happening then we are seeing news is coming in news is coming in about some money but there is some really be careful because um, however this is coming out um, a lot of you are going to be reconnecting with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or this person um and you are going to be celebrating a deceptive situation but you need to protect yourself because of some lies and deceptiveness that is transpiring now i see the energy of uh, an offer was here but the offer is off the table but it's as if uh, it's going to be returning okay and even better than what you had before so um protect yourself from whatever conflicts because i see a tower moment is coming and this tower moment is good that is coming because the truth is coming out so whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring i see a tower moment is good because of whatever deceptiveness and lies and deceptiveness that was playing this tower moment is really going to be coming down because the truth is coming out about what deceptive situation now i see some of you are really going to be celebrating with a taurus virgo or capricorn person this person is going to be like um giving you something of uh, stability okay and that is good this offer i see some of you are getting an offer but it could be an offer for a legal issue or a legal situation but i see um it's like your heart broken because of some deceptiveness that has transpired and it's like they want to give you an offer some of you take the payout or some of you this offer and whatever is transpiring because there is some issues and situation because I, I need to see what is happening here all right the knight of pentacles okay so i see some of you you could be dealing with a child or a younger person that is a taurus virgo or a capricorn and it, this is a situation that has to do with uh, a taurus virgo or a capricorn person now whether young or old i see this person um is um could come towards you to give you um some some and offer you something but i you know it, it is that you're going to be returning together and celebrating now this could be a child that is gifting you something so it could comes up in different order now whoever the star is virgo or capricorn is this person is either a love partner or a family member or a sister but i see that you are protecting yourself and protecting this person from some deceptive conflicts that is going on and this is going to be good so i see a lot of you um relationships are looking good marriages are looking good some of you your kids are coming in and apologizing for things uh you could be apologizing to your family but i see happiness and joy especially when it comes up to work you're really doing well with what you're doing your work is a supreme and um you know positive alignment of energies is coming out now what we're seeing here is that some good news is going to be coming in and celebration so for you guys you have three six and nine good news is going to be coming in about your financial stability and you're going to be having a huge 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 celebration so this is wonderful and positive so we're going to be um looking at um, all the houses um whatever is happening and transpiring we're going to be looking at all the houses so um however this is happening and transpiring there is some real deceptiveness that is going on but you know you guys are going to be coming through this and you're going to be seeing um whatever the deceptiveness that is and was at a play so let's look at all your 12 houses remember cancers you are the fourth house um uh scorpion you're the eight you are the eight else uh, um so and pisces you are the 12 house so um be aware of that is um very important for you to know your houses and what does it mean now the house the fourth house is a house of family the eight house is the house of investments contracts um sex um that sort of a 
situation on the ground the condolina okay so let's jump in this and see what is really happening and transpiring so we all know what is um happening so the first house is about you, who you are as a person. Second house is about your money. Third house is, a, is, a, is about where you work, live, your environment, social media, and that sort of a thing. So for the first house, I see Saturn. So you're going to be um, really working on yourself. Whatever is transpiring, you're going to be bringing back discipline to yourself. You're going to be really working on yourself. You're going to be making sure that you bring balance in yourself and balance in your world. And this is going to be good. So that is wonderful. Um, I see um, in the second house, um, there's a lot of emotional feelings around money in the second house and how you make your money. Um, this is the house of finance, your talents. It's good, um, especially for creative people and for people who write and that sort of a thing. Your true note is that you realize that you are where you were supposed to be, whether in work, whether in uh, living, um, wherever it is. I see you're going to be finding your true note that in your environment, uh, this is what um, some of you, if you're dating or doing speeches, this uh, your surroundings, you're going to be finding out that this was where you were meant to be. The fourth house is a semi-sex style allowance. So I see um, there's no conflicts in family. Everything is flowing good. You're moving forward when it comes on to the family. Moving forward, everything is falling in place with family, the comfort, um, your shelter, your house, um, you know, your daily, um, what you do in the weekend and that sort of a thing. It's just perfectly aligned with energy the fifth house i see you're going to be ending some friendship in entertainment there's not going to be a lot of entertainment there because there's a lot of work if there was romance or or you know a love affair i see you're going to be ending this so if you were in some romance or love affair i see you're definitely going to be ending this then i see pluto transition is coming in your work um life your you know the, the 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 um organization service well-being i see all of this daily routines i see all of this is going to be changing and this is going to be good okay wonderful alignment of energy then we have the energy of the seventh house and i see cryon whatever the issue and the situation in the seventh house i see cryon whatever that is happening and transpire cryon is in the energy um healing with your relationship so I see some of you if you were having some problems in your marriage I see healing healing between you and your best friend healings between you and your partnership I see healing coming in between whatever legal issues uh, social awareness I see healing between you and people I see love is in the 12th house for you um, got the eight hours so the eight hours have to do with the scorpions whatever is transpiring in the eight house it has to do with the scorpion now i see a lot of you water sign people are going to be investing i see the new contracts coming out i see the kundalini energy could be rising some of you could be receiving an inheritance i see a lot of love that is transpiring and happening the energy of the ninth house i see luck Okay, so whatever is transpiring in the ninth house, I see luck. There is a lot of luck that is coming up in the ninth house. This is the house of Jupiter. Um, and this is the house, your ninth house for you water sign. This um, period is going to be good. So whatever travel trips you have to do, it's going to be um, very, very positive. A lot of luck is in your ninth house. Now in your reputation, um, your reputation is where some challenges is with your reputation. So whatever is transpiring and happening, there is some challenge in your reputation, but I, it is the house of the Capricorn. So I see the Capricorns are going to be helping you in the 11th house with groups of people, friendship. This is going very well. So if you have a business, people are seeing your business. Um, this is going very, very well. I see a lot of you are going to be connecting with, um, your uh of your, your soul family and that sort of a thing so this is the first time i see the 11th house is in tune and going in a flow for you 
um, water sign people and this is beautiful now the energy of the 12 house surrender this is the house of the Pisces I see a lot of opportunities I see forgiveness um, so a lot of you um, in the house of surrender it's about the subconscious mind and it's about compassion dreams uh, karma forgiveness baggages the unseen healing and spiritual development and what is happening and transpiring i see you're going to be having a lot of opportunity whilst you forgive and forget whatever that is transpiring i see a lot of opportunities are going to be coming up and it's going to be helping you guys out pisces it's going to be a good time a lot of opportunities for you um whoever is traveling in this period i see unexpected luck is going to be coming up for some of you guys also um the only um yeah negative aspect is a tent house your reputation and mars that is in your house of passions with love affair and that sort of a thing i see you're just going to be ending those love affair whatever is coming up with travel it's going to be looking good anything to do with foreign your business is going international it is going to be fab so i see some of you are getting rid of an aquarian whoever this aquarian is i see you're moving away from this aquarian you're really cutting this aquarian off whoever this aquarian is and however they has been in your world and affecting you as a person you're releasing this person because this is the house of the self and some of you were having some issues where it has to do with you're freeing yourself okay you're letting go of group orientation and just freeing yourself and detaching yourself and that is good in the, the second house i see a virgo is going to be helping you with your financial stability whoever this virgo is i see this virgo is going to be coming in in the unseen and helping you to make a whole lot of money whoever this virgo is this person is working through um it's, you know this virgo is like working through the mysticism and helping you um this virgo is really going to be protecting you whatever is transpiring not note of where you live i see you're dealing with a scorpion you scorpion you fall in the third house and wherever you scorpions are living or working um you know stay there that is your not note whatever you're doing for work that was what your soul called out for um wherever you're living is where your soul was also called out for um so in your environment and social media and that sort of a thing i see a lot of aggressive information from social media it could be coming to some of you but it's okay let it go in the house of family where the cancers the fourth house where you're um, everything is looking good you're going with the flow you're allowing things in the family I see you're dealing with a Leo in the family so whoever this Leo is I see you're letting go of this person in this situation um, it's as if you 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 are realizing you know there is no more um, I can do for this Leo and I see you're letting go of this Leo it's, it's, it's as if uh, you know um i can't help you anymore whatever it is whatever you have gotten yourself in um i'm letting it go you know that sort of a thing and um i think you're going to be feeling much better doing that because you realize that this person have done so much deceptiveness friendship with the gemini's is going to be over if you are having a fair friendship with a gemini it's now going to be finally finally over whatever and however you spend time with a gemini i see this is finally going to be over because um the the, the planet of mars is coming in to move a gemini out of your personal life now with work and issues and situation i see balance is coming in armor harmony is coming in i see a huge transformation that is going to be coming in i see um people are going to be opening up to help you a renewal with work your health um your whole life there is going to be a renewal here for okay i see crying healing powers growth um that is coming up in relationship and this is good especially if you're in a relationship with a sagittarius I see that the Sagittarius Elin is going to be coming in between you and the Sagittarius. Okay, so this could be an ex, an ex-husband, ex-wife, 
I see some healing is going to be coming up between you and the Sagittarius, and that this is going to be so so good. Um, I see some of you are um dealing with some you're going to be making some change in your love life, but if you're dealing with a um a Aries, I see a Aries could be falling in love with you or vice versa, but it's not a good move. So, you know, and especially for you Scorpions, I see the Scorpions um could be falling in love with an Aries. Whoever is um in love or is dealing with an Aries, be aware of this because whatever it is transpiring it's not a match fire and water is not a match whatever is transpiring fire and water is not a match all right so pisces you fall in the house of travel in um um travel entertainment whatever you're doing with foreigners this is going to be looking good especially in business um new customers abroad um joint venture with people new business that is going to go international pisces that's your house that's your house so all the pisces business people that is that house that is really really looking good okay cancers your reputation is um on the line you fall in the house of the tent house and you, there is um challenges with your reputation so cancers Whatever is to inspire your reputation is on the line. However, you're going to be fixing this. Let's hope that whoever you you are in um, some situation with, um, because this is the house of a Capricorn. And Cancer, whenever your reputation is on the line and you're in the house of the Capricorn, um, be sure that the Capricorn and you are friends or else they're going to be, um, you know, working. So, yeah. It's, it's strange because this is a general reading as it was a personalized reading. Then I could elaborate more, but this is not looking good. If you, um, cause this is the house of the Capricorn and there is, um, square of challenge with a cancer. So cancers, you're definitely going to be, uh, your reputation is on the line. So cancers, whatever you're doing, you know, be aware. Now, this is so wonderful because, uh, um, we move to the 11th house. This is wonderful because whatever is transpiring in the 11th house at this time, you're going with the flow. So you're not at the edge with anything. Everything is just um, perfect, okay? You're just taking life really nicely, water sign people. And I see a Taurus. If you're in a relationship with a Taurus, I see you're just going with the flow with the Taurus, okay? So whatever the plane, whatever the issue, whatever what 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 is going on between you and the Taurus, I just see you're going with the flow. You're not pushing against this. You're not looking for anything. I see you and the Taurus just going in the flow. And the last um, energy is the Capricorn, okay? So I see that for you Pisces, the Capricorns are coming in your house to help you. So the Capricorns are going to be bringing you Pisces a lot of luck. However, in business, in work, in relationship, because that's what we saw this um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn lady in the moon sign reading. And for the Pisces, you and a Capricorn, a lot of doors of opportunity businesses are going to be open up for you guys. And this is going to, this is why internationally, for you Pisces, because this Capricorn, whoever this Capricorn person is, is going to be making you go international, your business, your work. If even if there's someone on the work floor who is your boss or someone that is going to be coming in, this person is going to be making you, um, um, it's like people worldwide is going to be knowing you. You're going to be going international and this Capricorn is bringing opportunities for you. All right. As we look at the rest of you guys, it's positive because what is transpiring for the rest of you guys is that there is a lot of uh, business opportunities that is going to be opening up because this is as if you guys just heal a situation, clear a situation, and there is a lot of opportunities that is going to be coming up for you guys. And this is going to be fabulous. So whatever the issue, the situation is, there is a lot of situation that is transpiring. This is going to be good. So um, we're aware that uh, a Capricorn is in the 12th house that is going to be helping you guys 
and it is the opportunities a lot of opportunities is going to be coming up for you guys i love you water sign so much please like and share these videos remember join with that button and here subscribe share 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 these videos remember to use the stamp to, to go and see your sun and moon sign it is going to be beautiful i love you guys namaste